morning, Lisa here. This is Lisa 63, and here is God's strength for you and me this day. Our scripture reading is coming from Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties, and see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. This is Paul, David, talking to the Lord. He's saying, Lord, search my heart. Find anything. The old folks used to say, find anything that shouldn't be taken out and strengthen me. I want to be right. I want to be saved. I want to be whole. That's what David is saying here. He's asking the Lord to search his heart. See what's going on. What's causing all of these anxieties in my life? Why am I anxious? Why am I fretful? Why am I fearful? What's causing me to not sleep at night? What's causing me to not have peace within my soul, in my life? What's causing me not to have the happiness that you desire I have? He's saying to the Lord, allow your Holy Spirit to just have open heart surgery with me and see what needs to be fixed. And then I will in turn release all of that to you. Trust me, I know what it's like to not have peace. I know what it's like to have anxiety in my heart. I know what it's like. It's like to have malice in my heart as well. But when you surrender yourself to the Lord and you say, Holy Spirit, have your way in me. Try me, try me and see if I'm willing to release it all to you. Today's strength. Don't let the issues of other people cause your heart to feel a way God did not design it to feel. Do not let the issues of other people control the way your heart feels. It's easier said than done, but I believe this. When we study the word of God and we focus on his things and his word and the things he's promised us, he will take every anxiety, wipe it away, and give you the strength to go through. The only way out is through. The only way out <laughs> is through because if you back up, well, sometimes you can back up and turn another way, but you may run into the same obstacle. But the only way out is through. Let God search your heart today. And he will erase all of those anxieties and give you the strength to go. This has been Lisa with Lisa 63. You go make it a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow morning. Be blessed.